Now, over this weekend, we will have a special interview with India's tennis icon Sanya Mirza, who retired last week from the sport. In that exclusive interview, Sanya looks back at the challenges she faced in her playing career. Here's an excerpt from that special interview that will air this Saturday and Sunday. Sanya Mirza, Indian Muslim girl from Hyderabad. Uh, at a time when, you know, there were those who thought, uh, there was stereotyping of, uh, of, uh, of, of women. There is, there is, it still uh, is there. Even when you were, uh, you know, wearing your uh, tennis shorts or skirts the first time, there were those who were raising questions. How much of that did affect you at all? Did it at all affect you at any stage, the fact that you were breaking a lot of glass ceilings, a lot of stereotypes? Honestly, I think I was just living, you know, that I was trying to be as authentic as possible and, and um, yeah, that doesn't always go down well with everybody, right? Uh, but the fact of the matter is that I was different, you know. There was I was asked a question a few days ago by a journalist and they said, when did you realize that you were different? I, I was always different. I had a different life. I had different schooling. I had uh, my scheduling was different. Everything was different about me. What I ate was different to the other kids. Mm -hmm. So the thing is that I, it was always very different. So for me, um, I wasn't like going on to and stepping on the court and thinking, okay, I'm breaking this glass. I was just being myself and I was being authentic. And I was like, this is what I think. And this is what I think is right. And this is what I think is not right. And I would say it out loud. And I think mm -hmm. that it took time for people to get used to that a little bit as well, to have that young girl um, you know, stay and speak her heart or be opinionated or whatever it may have been. You know, because, so, because we had these religious clerics, for example, who were saying, you know, we are going to issue fatwas against Sanya Mirza for the clothes she wears on, on the court. Uh, you know, she shouldn't be playing tennis. Uh, did, uh, you know, yeah, all of that was, was that just background noise for you? Actually, you know, if you, I don't think you read my book, but if you read my book, you'll know that a lot of that was actually media noise. That wasn't mm -hmm. even true in most cases. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that go behind um, and, and just come out in the media in a certain way, uh, the way they have said or, no, or not been said. And, and I think we know that better than anybody, right? So the fact is that I have lived my life under the spotlight since I was 16 years old. It's been 20 years of me being a public person. And, um, you know, in I grew up in front of the media. So, I mean, I it was difficult at times. I will not say that uh, it wasn't hard. I mean, you don't even know the person you are when you're 16, 17, 18. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and you're trying to discover yourself when you have so many opinions about you and headlines about you of the way that you uh, walk, eat, sleep, play, uh, look, um, you know, so many things. Uh, so... It did affect me at times. Mm -hmm. It didn't affect me as much as maybe it would have mm -hmm. um, because I had a very solid backing with my family around me, my friends. I had a very close-knit group and a support system around me. But there were times when I would be very angry. Mm -hmm. I can I can think of a couple of times, obviously. And, and uh, there were times when I thought it was not fair as to why I was being put through that kind of media trial.